So today we're going to be going over a very basic yet effective trout fishing rig and um, I'm going to tie it up start to finish start with the, the pole it's just a real simple ugly stick six foot uh, medium action nothing special and then your spinning reel can just be whatever uh, this is like a 2500 series so it's very small and I use braided line this is 10 pound test braid braid's great because it doesn't have as much have any memory <clears throat> so when you cast it out there you don't have all the little loops and twists so I'm gonna cut this whole rig off right here which we'll start from the beginning um, we've got so from your braided line we're gonna put these weights on and these weights um, are inline weights and they thread right through the line um, probably about two ounces or so depending on the depth and how sensitive you want to be fishing um, I'm using two because these are smaller so um, a single two ounce weight would work really well as long as it's a sliding inline weight so I'm gonna slide it right onto the main line just like this and then I'm going to tie a barrel swivel which is a swivel that has no clasp it's just two eyes and um, a little chain in the middle so I'll try not to drop it this time um, so here's your barrel swivel one eye on this side, one eye on this side. We're gonna go through the main line, tying an improved, or a, um, it's called a improved cinch knot. Pretty easy, put it through the eye, twist it six or seven or eight times, back through the lowest hole, make the loop, and this is the improved section, back through the loop that you just put it through, pull it down, and you've got yourself a nice knot and a barrel swivel. And the next thing you're gonna tie on is your leader. And your leader, I'm just gonna use some eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'm gonna put 24 inches, I think is a good size right now. Um, and that's gonna go right through the other end of my barrel swivel, like this. And then I'm going to twist it, one, two, three, four, five, six, lucky number seven, through the bottom hole, and through the loop you just made. And we're always gonna wet fluorocarbon so it doesn't melt. Clip the tag in, put it in your tackle box, and then you're gonna put your hook on. Now the hook I'm gonna use today is a bait holder hook and it is um, a very small size. Um, actually, you know what, today we're going to use a little egg hook, which is tiny. They're for little salmon eggs. And they're very small. This, this one is brass or copper, they're gold. And I'm gonna pass that through the eye of the hook exact same knot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Through the bottom loop and then through the loop you just made. Wet the knot, cinch it down. Tackle box and I'll show you what we made here. So as you can see, got our weights slide down to our barrel swivel and they can slide just like that and then here's our leader down to our hook and now we're going to take our hook and today I'm going to be using some power bait garlic scent uh, mouse tail 
worms. I like these instead of power bait because they one they they fit on a uh, on a single hook better, and also they last longer. So you can catch multiple fish and throw heavy casts with this little rubber guy, um, and it'll last much much longer. So I'm gonna put it on the tip of the hook through the head, and then I'm gonna slide that up until the point of the hook gets into the tail and then I'm going to pop it out the tail so it rides just like that and we're going to throw it out there and I don't have to cast it too far because usually the trout like to hang out right in this area over here so I'm going to toss it and now the trick is you wait for it to sink, and then I'll put my pole down and reel it in so there's just enough tension that you can see the line bending the tip of the rod. 